Imagine living on the top floor of a two-flat apartment building. One day you hear a thud, then the table begins to shake. Only after doing some investigating do you realize that the family of six who reside downstairs decided to engage in a game of tug of war in a confined area. This intense battle of pull and tug ended after one of the teams decided in unison to release the rope. The sudden release of tension resulted in a violent collision of bodies bouncing off one another in the floor, which began to shake the building, especially your apartment, as if there was an earthquake. Earthquakes are caused when stress built up in rocks is released in a sudden jolt of energy. Rocks rub together underneath the earth, but impacts the outermost layers. During an earthquake, if we're only focused on the surface, then we might miss what's happening underneath. In Matthew's gospel, I could imagine Mary and Mary walking in silence and sorrow, feet dragging and their minds racing as they're dealing with an earthquake of their own as they head toward the tomb. But soon they would be surprised. On this day, there would be no last rites, no embalming, no funeral after all, for an angel of the Lord rolled the stone away. Christ is risen, the angel proclaimed, and all of a sudden it's no longer silence and sorrow, but anticipation and joy that fill the hearts of the women and the emptiness of the tomb. When Christ finally appears to Mary and Mary, it's as if something begins to change underneath the surface. Rocks of life and death collide. Rocks of despair and joy rub together, creates, creating a different type of vibration. Christ meets the women where they are and releases them to go and tell the good news. Metro Chicago Senate, as we anticipate sharing Christ's good news with one another face to face, I want you to know that something is stirring beneath the surface. Pastors, are eager to trade in their laptops for lecterns. Young adults are encouraged as we engage the technological tools that they use every day. Estranged members and our neighbors are rediscovering the value of community since the church has left the building. Mission developers and lay leaders are reimagining ways to be church together. Something is stirring beneath the surface. There's a holy tension building that soon will roll away our stones. What will resurrection look like? Will we be able to recognize it when it arises? Whatever the case, hear the words of the messenger of the Lord. Do not be afraid. I know you seek Jesus, the one who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Happy Easter. We are the Metro Chicago Senate.